Any question? Babies? Any more last question? For the white flakes? Snowflakes? Oh, what is that? Oh, thank you, thank you. I forgot. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I have told you to wash the, the, the raw vegetable very carefully and soak it in uh, salt for like five minutes, yeah? To avoid any possible virus, bacteria, as well as the uh, insecticides, you call it? Pesticide? The spray? Huh? Pesticide? Okay. But sometimes you forgot or something. I guess it's my sensitive stomach. Oh, I am sensitive karma. <laughs> huh? Are you sick because of us? No, I don't know. I don't want to say anything. <laughs> Maybe. Possible. <laughs> I don't care no more. <laughs> what's the use whether I'm sick because of myself or because of you, we are all one. So what's, what's the difference, right? Mm. Are you guys okay, huh? You really like retreat, huh? I think. Oh. Huh? You really do, huh? <laughs> oh, I'm okay, just uh, passing by cloud. Yeah. I'm very strong. Mm. <laughs> Just passing by cloud. <laughs> I'm always springtime. <laughs> so we're a little cloud sometimes, but it's always spring. Eternally, sp eternal spring. <laughs> oh, yeah, tell me something. Which country? Uh, there's a Hungarian, where is he? Forgot the Hungarian yesterday. Are you still there? No, you are the one who talk about the retreat. Oh, is your <laughs> yeah? I have no problem in your country about visa, right? How about the Taiwanese and Chinese? Bef be uh, before we come here, we uh, we uh, looking for the this visa problem. Yeah, and uh, they can get visa, no problem. They can uh, only the the uh, person who come from other country, for example. Uh, Poland and uh, have a Chinese visa or or uh, Aulak visa, they can come also. Uh, and this this is a uh, this is a, a vegetarian meeting there, mm. and uh, for that reason we can get uh, a lot of visa, no problem. Ah, we get vegetarian visa. Mm. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good excuse, huh? This is cool. It's cool. Well, I'm still considered. Yeah. Uh, cons I'm still considering your proposal, yeah? Thank you very much. Uh, Any time if you um, give me some uh, request for, 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 for a retreat or lecture, you give us also more information about your country, please. That would help, yeah? Like who needs visa when? I love the country who has landing visa. <laughs> yeah, I love those countries. Even Cambodia, we went there because they have landing visa, yeah. Which is good, you know. It's it's convenient for everybody, and if the person are suspected or or no good, they can always kick them out from the airport, you know. Yeah, really, because nobody can go into the airport if the if the custom there don't let them. So what's the problem? Hmm? Uh, because uh, uh, because uh, uh, requesting a visa in advance is very inconvenient for many people. They are busy. Yeah. Also, if like us, we don't just have one country to go, we have many country, and if every country needs waiting visa for two three weeks, it's very inconvenient for a lot of brothers and sisters. I don't approve this kind of country nowadays anymore. I might approve if your country have war, yeah, have a lot of problem with criminals or things like that. But if your country is prosperous and don't have too many population, and, and it's very civilized and very well controlled. 
I don't approve. Hmm? I mean, maybe, okay, suppose like Hungary or any country, suppose for some troubled country, because they also restrict their own citizens, and they probably request uh, your country to restrict for them also, yeah? Not giving uh, their citizens visa. You know, those are troubled countries, you know, they... Or uh, maybe they have war, uh, because their status maybe is not very defined at the moment, yeah? So some country uh, don't have... Uh, some country do have, you say, they're re reluctant to give them visas. For example, if, if that's just a special, very, very special case, very special citizen, be due to their country's problem or their country's status. Okay, I understand. Uh, but the uh, Hungary, I have no problem. That I know, huh? No. But the Taiwan, they can have visa, right? The yes, Taiwanese. Yes, yes. No, that's okay. It's all right if we go to only one country. You know, at that time, then the brothers and sister has a lot of time to apply. Yeah, and they can run around from one embassy to another <laughs> for fun. <laughs> Since they have nothing else to do except a big work to take care, money to earn, big family to, <laughs> huh? I would say, to 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 take care and a lot of responsibility. Nothing else they can do, and except they have to meditate two and a half hour days, go group meditation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they are really free. Have a lot of time, <laughs> so they can mess about with all this paperwork. Yeah, that's what I hate. <laughs> paperwork, unnecessary paperwork. Mm. If we want, if we were to only one country at a time, it's, it's not so much inconvenient. Still, we can do it. But still, I can't understand any country who are so unfriendly to anybody at all. <laughs> you know, <laughs> not a special citizen because of their special circumstance, but to anybody at all. Yeah. There was a there was a, a practitioner before, actually a saint. It's in Jewish it's a Jewish story. Yeah. He was uh, very enlightened indeed. And he he thinks he's okay. <laughs> he contact God all the time and he can talk to God. Uh and but then uh a certain time of his life, God never appeared, never come to his house anymore. And one day he was so, so, so desperate to talk to God again, and that he, he really tried all means to get God back into his house again. So he begged him, he said, even if I have done some great mistake, any uh, sin at all, please just appear one more time to tell me what did I do, and what can I do to have you back into my house again? So God appeared to him, you know, kind of last time. <laughs> he said, yeah, you don't let anybody else into your house. So I thought, so you don't want anybody, <laughs> including me. <laughs> that's why I don't come in. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. Any country who is developed enough should understand that all mankind are God incarnate, God manifested. Yeah, except some troublemaker once a w one now and again. That that we all know. Of course, there are some crazy God also. I admit. <laughs> but to to buy everybody, you know, and to make such a trouble for nothing. I don't think uh, a, a civilized country should adopt this kind of attitude. Mm. Okay, anyhow, maybe we can go to Hungary, maybe not. I don't know, maybe, I don't think. Uh, at the moment, I'm very tired, so I couldn't even think about anything. <laughs> uh, not only tired, it's not, it's not because, it's just after lecture, you know. It's the wrong time to ask me, you know. <laughs> it's the wrong time to ask. It seems too, too much, yeah. But after a while, maybe I think about it. Also, it's, it's, it's very funny for me now. I'm uh, struggling, you know, between to be or not to be, <laughs> to do or not to do.
Like on one hand, I'm so clear that all of you are God and Buddha. There's no doubt about it at all. And I have very difficulty trying to teach you anything. <laughs> to me, it seems funny that I should teach any God at all. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, to me, I mean, except when you really bug me and cloud my vision and, 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 and drag my wisdom into uh, somewhere down there, I always am very aware that you have everything you need, that you are exactly where you should be, and you are the person you should be, exactly the way you are right now. So you have no problem. <laughs> trying to change yourself or doing anything. Or you have no problem learning anything or knowing anything because you have everything inside you. That is, that's what I'm clearly aware of. And that's why sometimes it's very difficult for me to bring myself into a, a, a teacher position, you know, to, to, to tell myself that you really need my answer, you really need me, you really need that, you really need this. It's very difficult for me. <laughs> to try to convince myself that way, although you make me believe sometimes. Yeah. On one hand, I answer you, on the other hand, I laugh within myself. Say, look at all these stupid Buddhas. <laughs> I don't look down upon you to laugh like that. I was thinking, what amazing, how amazing that they, they look outside all the time. They forget to look within themselves. They're so great in there. They know, they know everything. They don't need anything. They're absolutely perfect and happy. They are strong enough to withstand, withstand any, any obstacle in this world. They're strong enough to laugh at problems, and they're strong enough to even uh, don't feel the suffering. Why do they keep looking outside for any solution? Do you know? Do you understand what I say? Yeah. So sometimes it's not I'm lazy, I'm just... <laughs> I'm just struggling between uh, to be a Buddha or not to be a Buddha <laughs> with you. <laughs> yes. Do you understand this sometimes? Do, do you have this feeling sometimes? No? Yes? Yes? Okay, hang on to that. Huh? <laughs> hang, on, hang on to that all-knowing, yeah? all-sufficient, all-perfect, and all-wisdom, and all-contentment. That's what you are. Really, you don't need anything. All this suffering are really just uh, uh, just playing. You don't care about that. You don't really suffer at all. Just the body and the mind. But still, you know it, and you don't don't, don't bother about that. Really, you don't. Really, you don't care. I don't know why sometimes you choose to forget. <laughs> you forget that you're really great and. You really know everything, and that you're really self-sufficient, and that you really don't care whatever happened to this body and and and, and this physical uh, environment. But you forget that, huh? Yeah. Never mind. It, it's also fun to forget, I guess. <laughs> yeah, huh? It's fun to forget. Yeah. Play dumb for a while, just like me and playing dumb blonde for a change. <laughs> <laughs> when I went to the hairdresser, he said, Hey, I need some disguise. Make me different, okay? <laughs> he said, No, you look good. You look great with your dark hair. It's mysterious. It's exotic. It's uh, oriental. It's sexy. <laughs> <laughs> I said, No, no. <laughs> why, why? I, I want to have different hair. I w he said, No, no. Uh, you know, uh, dark hair is supposed to be intelligent people. I said, I want to be a dumb blonde. Do you mind? <laughs> I don't know where, where the story about dumb blonde come from. I guess not dumb, they're just easy, yeah? They're not too complicated, yeah? They don't try to think too much, and that's why they think they're dumb. <laughs> I don't feel any dumber since my hair changed, so <laughs> I guess you're not. <laughs> there was some bad story about blonde. You want to hear? <laughs> it's in the internet. <laughs> it's in the internet. There was a, a blonde lady, you know, very beautiful and very lively, and she's very against uh, dumb blonde jokes, because <laughs> a lot of people make jokes about dumb blonde, and she hates so much. 
So she started a government, a, a movement against dumb blonde jokes. Uh, anything, anytime, if any dumb, dumb blonde joke come up, she stand up, you know, for her rights. So one day, so one day she was driving along, alone and along a highway, uh, somewhere, you know, in a car, and she saw, she looked to her right side on the highway, uh, right side of the highway, uh, in the wheat field. There was a blonde girl sitting there on a boat, yeah, in a wheat field. <laughs> you know the story already? No, okay. So she was so mad. She opened a window and shouted <laughs> to other person, "Hey, you! <laughs> Whatever you try to make fun of the dumb blonde there, you be careful. If only I can swim over there, I will give you help." <laughs> you got it or not? No, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> on a boat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why all these jokes are about blonde. Oh, they're okay. <laughs> oh, you have any more question? What is the what is the most easy country in Europe? Yeah, I wanted to ask you. Uh, actually, the. Uh, many uh, easy country there uh, for, for the new for visa right? for, for, for visa. everybody yeah uh, maybe this these new countries because uh, the EU the United Europe mm. have shown have uh, some difficulty make it, made it because they are afraid that uh, too much people come from uh, 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 far uh, this uh, Asian countries and want to stay there ah. but these new countries uh, they they are uh, now open more Welcome. open mm. ah and and uh, later on they want to uh, also join to european nations yeah. and uh, that's why later on uh, maybe uh, come some difficulty but mm -hmm. right now it's, now it's everything easy. is open ah oh, so if you want to immigrate to europe it's a time <laughs> <laughs> hungary for example yeah right is that what you mean <laughs> new country right yeah something yeah, yeah. like <laughs> slovenia and these countries yeah and a lot of country uh, still easy in europe huh mm. Uh, those stronger country, maybe already more established country, may be difficult, but the uh, the later uh, dependent country has still a lot of room. <laughs> yeah, it's not so bad. And master, one yeah. one thing. The uh, yes, uh, before yesterday, uh, say one brother, one Taiwanese brother, that uh, uh, give a good idea because. Uh, uh, in Taipei, they explained that in Taipei they want to buy a school uh, for meditation, mm. and uh, 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 maybe this is also a good idea in Hungary. Yeah. Because if you buy a school, then uh, we have a lot of uh, a student visa for longer time because the uh, the <laughs> because uh, because the for a uh, 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 working visa is very difficult everywhere. Yeah. Uh, the the uh, the tourist visa is short. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then the the study visa can uh -huh. be m many many years, and yeah. maybe we can organic food uh, school and the research uh, institute made it, yeah. or fund foundation make a something like foundation ah, like this. And then we have a lot of room, a lot of toilet already. That's not <laughs> bad. <laughs> and <laughs> not a bad idea. And later we can a lot of people have there long term resident or whatever. Ah, not bad. And and for the country is also so everybody is happy because the for yeah. the country is also good. Fine, but then you have to find teacher, you know. Uh, huh? uh, we have <laughs> one. <laughs> uh, me? Yes. Oh, I'm not. <laughs> I know, I know, but this is a different. It's different. You have to have teacher certificate and all that stuff, right? Yeah. And not just one. You have to have many, no? Or uh, is it possible to like open uh, like? Meditation school, something like that. Is that what you mean? <laughs> wow! How about that? <laughs> yeah, not bad, huh? Okay, you try to find out if, if that's possible. Oh, and you. some of our brother probably like to immigrate there and you know, do something and do some research. You know, I mean they can eat and <laughs> whatever <laughs> organic food comes, <laughs> we can research <laughs> very fast. <laughs> Uh, yeah, our group is qualified for researching about food. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's good. Maybe possible. Huh? Yeah, we try to find out. Okay. okay. How about other countries? Indonesia. Indonesia. <laughs> what? 
Ah, uh, it's cool. Yes. But your country was a little trouble. Yeah, this time, don't be so. <laughs> is it okay now? <laughs> will be will be nice after that. You see, mm -hmm. we have uh, uh, what is it uh, like a teenager period. You see, oh, yes. to be democracy. Be so now it's already adulthood. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm glad for your country has become very much better. I think five years or ten years it will be. Yeah. It's already uh, good it now. Be paradise. It's already good now. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I like your country very Just much. Just one person is bad, and then everything is going down. But I think many people, they have uh, um, friendly and yeah. open. You you don't have need visa. Three months for free, right? Ooh. For the Asian, yeah. all the Asian is three months for free. Yes. So I you can so. just, um, even the European, maybe they don't need oh, it. Okay. Actually. I have to ask some of my... Uh, Psychics, um, <coughs> oh yeah, of, uh, research. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have many psychic there. <laughs> yeah, no, no, here, here. Anybody who have psychic power, raise your hand. Yeah, you know, used to do like kind of hula hop stuff. You raise your hand. Anybody here? Can can how ma? Bobai can can. Huh? It is fun. It's fun. I introduce you to my psychic group. Come here. <laughs> Come here, come here. So, okay. I tell you what. I don't want to be responsible for which country I should stay. So I'm going to ask these people. If they see everything okay, they say, okay, I go. So I'm not responsible. So you don't ever blame me anything. And if you want to kill them, <laughs> kill somebody, it's them. Come here. Anybody else psychics, come here. Hey, let's let's play for fun. It is my birthday. <laughs> hey, you guys come here. Who? 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 以前那個當那個什麼伯貝那些有沒有還有別國家有站起來上來啊anybody else from other country please come here we need the little consultation here <laughs> come over here sit here this is taiwan only any other country have psychics please come up i'm serious so sit here sit here sit here 上山坐這裡 就是一個Taoist,那個是也是Taoist,啊也是Taoist,Chinese Taoist,anyone from mainland China?Anyone from Indonesia?Anyone from Europe?Yeah, all of you uh, have boasted of power of a future and past and whatever, come up here.That's it?My God. Uh, all of you have a lot of magical yeah. power. Huh? You don't have? Anyone who yeah, used to have magical power to see into the future and feng shui, you know, that come up here? No, one of, one of them is the um, architect, so, he, you know, the Chinese people, they love to ask about feng shui, so he has to know a little. And the other one, he, he stay next to the, the ghost uh, lake all the time, and the ghost tell him everything about what happened in the future. <laughs> and then one of this uh, elderly, elder, elderly brother, he's been studying all kind of uh, things for how long? Three years? Three years? Three years? Three years? Three years? Three Anywhere else suggest and just tell me and they tell him right away, good or bad, and I'm not responsible at all. <laughs> yeah. They are one of you. <laughs> Okay, so don't ask me anything where I should go and what's good. These people have your fate in their hands. 
You better pray. <laughs> huh? I know, I know, but they they believe in feng shui more than the future. <laughs> 你们说看看，宋家里、宋家里或是印尼，印尼他说有很多岛都有听过了哈。那宋宋家里他说现在很很很地很便宜，还可以弄水烧，能够住很久啊。两个都一样，两个都可以做一样。Uh, now you wait and see, okay? <laughs> the power of cycle. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the show. Sure, sure. Ah, these people are very famous in Taiwan, you know. Eh, a lot of people go to them for looking for wife and husband who disappear. <laughs> <laughs> Very powerful in Taiwan, you know. Hmm. You may have other kids come to play with you. Anybody else would like to play around? Come here. Hmm. Oh, want to study with Tibetan Tantra or something like that, no? You study with so many teacher in school, you should know better than I do. Yeah, so so so, you mean you heard? Heard? You you explain to them. Ah, okay, quiet, quiet, quiet. They have to, they have to concentrate and <laughs> calculate it. No, one's gone. You mean so? Not one, two, three, four, five. He said Indian is bad. You mean? Ah, bad. Indian, I feel bad. Okay. Okay. Show me your hands. <laughs> they have more than you have. <laughs> 他说，如果你们说那个匈牙利好，他会把全部那个家食物给你们，贿赂 ，blackmail。对不起，我对匈牙利没有概念，我不知道。<laughs> 不想得罪人啊，你呢？没概念，不好。没听过，没去过，那个欧洲啊，没去过也会知道啊。你不是说有神通可以看吗？今天说不好，今天神通睡觉了啊。我没有概念。OK， 啊 ，Bulgaria， one say he has no clue。The other two say no good, so majority also say no good. Ah, uh, ah, uh? Hungary no good. Not not mean no good country, just no good for us. <laughs> South Africa, hey, <laughs> Nanfei, <laughs> Cape Town. <laughs> Okay, you can ask any country. In the, if they say yes, it's yes. They say no, it's no. I have no idea. Nanfei那个地方，在这个红华白云华园是很好，但是买一个地在那边做一个很大的道场，不好管理。为什么不好管理？啊，太多那个贫穷的，是不是？啊，短时间在那边，对，就可能那是。同意，同意。哎呀，
一个人讲，两个人同意。<laughs> One person verdict and three of them voted for him. Oh, they work together. Ah? 越简单越便利，好。什么？越简单越便利。越简单越明了。那他他的意思是说，讲的简单就比较清楚了解了，就很简单的回答，就是、嗯、就是答案的。嗯。You say that in Africa, for short term, okay. For long term, it's not very ideal. 韩国这边少发有没有？韩国这边吧，那你在这边韩国的时候，你吃太多人生了，所以才这样讲。<笑>他们会录你了，多少了啊？你拿多少包人生？你跟我讲。啊<笑> ？You don't have any、uh, translation? Why is that? You should have. No? Every one of you have trans translation machine or not? He say uh, in Korea is not so bad here. We should look for a place in Korea is uh, comparably is is a little better than those uh, we have mentioned before. No, not yet, not yet. No. And then I ask him how many how many box of ginseng has he he taken from the Korean disciples so far. <laughs> And along with the box of ginseng, they have written this kind of information, and he just uh, learned by heart, and he just <laughs> he loves ginseng. You know, that's his his weakness. Yeah. All the all the Chinese people worship ginseng. Yeah. So it's it's not a surprise to me that all the Chinese like Korea. <laughs> yeah, you even think, na? Korea okay, huh? Yeah. 两个，呃，目前这两个国家来比，是韩国是比较好。哪两个国家？呃，印尼还有那个啊，红小丽，还有南非、啊、等等对对来比较的话、嗯嗯，是韩国比较好。我有这样讲，啊、在这里吗？我是去那个岛那边，去岛那边是温暖了，不过太孤独哈。<笑> OK， he just say that in compare. Yeah, and compared to other, this one is better. Ah, you men, can you see which country is the best? Right now, for us, is the best. You see, is there anyone who can see? Anybody who can look into the whole planet and find out one spot for us, please write your hand. Anybody who can look into the whole planet and find out one spot for us, please write your hand and come up here. <laughs> They have told me some country, but I didn't believe it. Hmm. Ah, na ga ko bja. Hey, be quiet. Okay, they have to look. <laughs> have to look into the future. Uh. Okay. 好了没有？看那么久，<笑>看完了吗？还没，对不起，对不起。Uh, they have not looked enough yet. Really, don't laugh.、Huh? Be quiet. You have to respect the job, no? Give them some supporting power. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Support doesn't mean clapping inside. It's not very good. 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 我是两个国家同意，我是同意。OK， 
知道吗？嗯。应该现在这样算起来，以我们来讲，已经是最好的。这个地方。不是，就是以以我们现在所有所有的活动的情况，这、嗯、已经够好了，这已经是最好的。嗯。那可能还是要有一点时间，它它自然会变得更好，达到我们的目的。那个那。有一个地方才会成为一个最大的中心，哪一个还不知道？还不知道，哦、但是目前来讲应该是最好的。啊 okay、对的，也、嗯、不用再不用再找了，太费心了。对，嗯、太太用力的话，不自然，<笑>花很多时间，很多钱。<笑> OK， you hear it？ No， too bad <笑>。Nothing new。One say Thailand is good, and the other say Singapore is is good. I also agree. These two countries, little, yeah, they are more accepting, yeah. But they are good and bad in different ways, yeah. Of course, I can stay in Thailand. I can stay in Singapore, but then you know, depends. And then、uh, the third one took longer time. He said, at the moment,、uh, everything's okay the way it is. We have enough places, and it's just okay the way it is. No need to make too much effort and looking around for for any best place. And in the future,、uh, whatever best will come out, then we know. <laughs> I also agree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now you know, huh? It's not that I don't want you to go go to your country, huh? 还是风水不好。<laughs> no, it just you have to look into the political, yeah, and economical situation of your country, and then you know. Also, religious background. It's not that every country don't have land. Land is not a problem. It's the people. It's the politic politicians. It's it's the religious.、Uh, Leaders, all kind of thing. Just like always, just like always. The the one who preach the truth, <laughs> the real things. They having more difficult than the one who just、uh, repeating whatever left over from <laughs> the rest. <laughs> See what I mean? Yeah. If I'm just an ordinary nun or monk or anybody, I go anywhere. I have as big land as I want. And all I do is just open the Bible or the Buddhist scripture and and and, and read it, and then we have all peace and quiet. It's no problem. It's just because、uh, we're not conformed to all this、uh, ritual and tradition. We are here to know ourselves, to know God, and that's the biggest problem within this planet. To the people who are not ready to hear, you see. You cannot imagine how blind people can be, huh? How blind, huh? So obvious things and don't understand. <laughs> yeah. So in the meanwhile, you know, like、uh, for example, if I go to your country for a while, you know, like one week, two weeks, two three months,、uh, probably no problem. But if I stay long, then it's different. Yeah, very different. Because、uh, the positive power will be stirred up, you know. And then the negative power will feel disturbed, and then the both of them will have some struggle, and then that's how things begin to be a little bit、uh, unpleasant, and a little, and then more <laughs> depends on the country. We are very surprised to find that many so-called、uh, very powerful and civilized country. It's not always <laughs> developed in spiritual understanding. Yeah, you you know it yourself. So please、uh, do not、uh, make it harder for me <laughs> by asking me to go to your country alone or stay somewhere longer and make an established place. I would very much like to. I very much like. To. Believe me, I like it more than all of you do. Yeah. So don't have to run around. People can come to me and all that. It's easier for me too. I also don't like travel as much as you do. Yeah, I I I really hate traveling. 
I don't love exercise that much. <laughs> this is the way it arranged. It looks very easy from your point of view, because it's your country and you are just an ordinary person, you don't do anything stirring up any trouble, you can spread the teaching for a few friends and neighbors and give the flyers, you're not a responsible person, so you don't feel the pressure. Yeah? And you don't. You do sometimes. Even then, some people. Some people give you trouble. Yeah. Can you imagine why? Huh? Because you are too famous. <laughs> Sorry. Because you are too famous. I'm too famous. Ah, they yes. are also famous. Huh? I think the truth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Probably also, yeah. Probably, you're right. All of you are right, <laughs> but I still don't understand. Yeah. yeah. What I mean is, is I don't understand uh, how we, as a Buddha, as God, could choose to be so blind, so illogical, just to play fool. <laughs> but that's the way it is, I guess, the way of creation. There must be two forces existing at the same time. Yeah. Mm, okay. Well, like that's also good for me. I mean, I have less job to do, so it's also okay. It's a protection in disguise. You know? <laughs> if it's so easy, everybody would invite me every week, every month, and I will be, you know, having no time at all for you even. Yeah to take care of the one who are already initiated. Yeah. It's not only initiation we have to take care of, follow up, you know. Yeah. So I have more time and so we can have retreat and talk nonsense together, have fun <laughs> and be friends. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, any any uh, recently anything new? Anything nice that you want to tell me? Any nicer idea except the school? School is a good idea. The hotel also a good idea. I was thinking before, you know, long ago, I was thinking maybe we buy buy a hotel and just manage like a hotel, and everybody can come in any time. I was thinking like that. Yeah. But then we have to know how to pay tax and all that stuff and. <laughs> <laughs> we need really good staff, good accountant and all that. Um, I'm kind of scared anything to do with a lot of money and paperwork <laughs> and tax and that, I'm scared. I'm scared we might forget to pay or we don't know how to pay and then... <laughs> yeah. But it, I think it's okay for now, huh? Yeah. It's just, I guess, many of you like to have a special place like Meoli before, so you know I'm there and you can come anytime. And it's, I guess it's a nice to have that idea also, huh? Mm. Now how do other people do it? How do other masters do it? How do they, suppose, for example, they teach the same method, how do they do that? They stay in their country, huh? I guess, huh? Like India, huh? India is more peaceful, huh? Or not? Nepal? Eh? Nepal? Nepal? Wang Chin? Nepal people feel so much love for you, Mother. Even yeah, the child. They do, they do. Yeah. But everywhere they feel so much love. That, that I must say. Oh, in Nepal we have like almost 700 people initiated. Just uh, one night. <laughs> and that's very big compared to other countries. Hungary, uh, huh? 260. Oh, that's a lot, 10 percent. 500 convenient method, yeah. Uh, ne Nepal is a very funny country, it's very friendly. When I, when I, the day of my lecture, there were a big, big, big uh, demonstration outside on the street next to the lecture hall. They would run around in that area. And there were thousands of people. They, uh, 
demonstrate against some policy of the government or something. I had not really very clear idea. And after they demonstrate, they all come to the lecture hall. They throw away uh, their banners and, and, and uh, fold their flags and then, and then just uh, uh, queue in in front of the, of the lecture hall demanding to come in. The police, you know, scared, don't let them in. And they just stand there, they say, we don't leave until we hear the mat master speak. <laughs> so they just stand out there, <laughs> many thousands of them stand outside. And we had no equipment for them because the hall inside already full, full to capacity. Yeah, Four thousand more or five thousand, we have no place to, for them, but they're still standing there. Yeah, that was a very <laughs> adamant <laughs> country. They're very good. Yeah, but that country is already a, a Buddhist country. You know, majority of Buddhists. Uh, there's some Hindu and some Muslim. They, they are, but all of them, you know, even the Muslim, the Hindu, they are standing out there, <laughs> and the police want them to go home. Say, you've done your job, you have demonstrated. Now is time to go home. They say, no, we come here to listen to Master. <laughs> yeah, they say we don't leave until we hear her speak. <laughs> That's this outside, <laughs> and inside also very exciting and very loving. It's a very good country. Even Jordan. Buddha, no. <laughs> Which <Ujita. laughs> <laughs> is Nanjiang. 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 <laughs> he said that country is too remote, <laughs> difficult, huh? difficult to, to, to go there. Yeah. Well, every country has some problem, huh? How about Vietnam? The less problem, huh? <laughs> the least problem, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You don't know, you don't know. The people everywhere are okay. The people, most of the place, any country, the people are okay. Uh, except the fanatics, yeah? But most of the majority of people in any country very friendly to us. And they welcome us everywhere, you can see that. Doesn't matter which country. Be it, be it uh, uh, Jerusalem or Nepal or India or America or anywhere, Australia, New Zealand even. You see how nice people have been to us everywhere. They accept immediately because their soul knows that. It's just the political situation of that country or the religious situation of that country which pose a problem for our long-term uh, residents. You understand? That's all. Not about the people. So in, so in order to uh, help people, I just have to go from one to another. That's enough. No need to stay anywhere. And you have to run around with me. <laughs> okay? Mm. Uh, we can uh, collect money and then uh, buy, a, and buy a land and then uh, create a, a, a country. Mm. Uh, yeah, and that's then uh, all, uh, all the people who... Uh, who want to, to come in this country must be a vegetarian. Mm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we like that also. I think for convenient We like that idea, yeah. You can buy an island in Indonesia and start doing that trouble. <laughs> it takes a long time to establish a country, yeah, to be recognized. This is not that easy. And once you say to the United Nations that you are from Supreme Master Ching Hai, you are vegetarian, they don't even want to talk to you, I don't think. I don't know. They like political together. I don't know if they even endorse, you know, a country who is vegetarian and, and, and practitioners and all that. It's not easy, okay? Maybe you should uh, take a post in United Nations, the deciding panel, and then we talk about it. <laughs> to have a nation, you must be endorsed by United Nations. 
and maybe six or seven countries. Am I right or not? Anybody knows? You don't know that? I heard, I heard like that, something like that. Yeah. And there's, uh, I don't know how much demand. Why don't you find out and tell me? Huh? Find out and then tell me. May we, we, can, uh, we can demand uh, to UNESCO. You can ask. Uh, you can ask uh, to UNESCO to 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 have uh, authorization. Oh, you do. You do that. Huh? Yeah. If uh, if all the disciple. Uh, yeah. Uh, why not uh, find out about it? Okay. <laughs> find out what's the condition. How much money? <laughs> For example, and, and you have to uh, pay have something. I don't know. Yeah. If you have uh, all the signature of uh, all the disciple. And okay. to uh, to write a letter to uh, UNESCO, for okay. example. Okay, we can try that. Just make yourself more famous and <laughs> draw more attention. <laughs> I'm not sure. Okay, never mind. It's better be quiet. Okay, it's better like this. It's better. I'm going everywhere. Easier. <laughs> Once I am the head of the nation, oh, where do I run? <laughs> Once I am the king of one country, <laughs> I can't go nowhere. It's even worse than now. Hmm? You don't know, I have a lot of inconvenience because I have to go quietly everywhere. Yeah? I'm not like you, you can go anywhere. You get visa anywhere, show yourself anywhere. Yeah? I have to be more quiet. Hmm? In order to serve you, I sometimes have to do everything alone, go alone like a very, very poor and helpless person, without attendance, without anyone to help even. I have to carry our luggage alone and, and go quietly, buy my own ticket, and do everything, book ticket and check out, check in <laughs> hotel, and then check out, check in airplane, and, and run with the airplane, whatever, I have to do everything uh, very quietly in order to be here or to be anywhere. It's not the way you imagine. I cannot be too obvious, yeah, up to now. I go everywhere incognito, anonymous. Uh, there's so many things I cannot tell you, Just, just believe me. You see James Bond film? <laughs> okay, okay. Imagine. I have to do a hundred times more than he does. And then uh, many things I cannot disclose. Yeah? I cannot go anywhere and tell him, here, I'm a Supreme Master Jinghai, look at me. <laughs> give me a visa, give me this, give me that. No, no, no. Yes. I have to do it very, very quiet. You see, I have to even have my hair like this so I can sleep through quick. You don't know. You don't know what I, I do. <laughs> All the glories and love you have here for me, I have to hide it in my pocket wherever I travel. You understand? Only when I'm with you here, I'm openly and, and free. Yeah? I let my hair down and I do anything with you and, and you know me. You see my face. When I go alone, I almost have to wear the mask. Yeah, understand? Mm, never mind. I, I cannot tell you all the, the things I do because it is confidential. Nothing bad, nothing bad. You have to, to apply some certain fashion of traveling in order to go uh, uh, anonymously not to steer up any attention. Okay. I cannot tell you everything. <laughs> Why I can't do this, I can't do that, I am sorry. Hmm. I cannot uh, disclose everything. Maybe I will write a book, after I die you publish and you know everything. But not right now. Right now I keep all the method to myself. You see all the master who do things openly and everybody knows where they are about. You think they live long? You see, you see, even just a, not really a master, even a teacher who is famous, you think they leave them alone? Hmm? 
Either they might not kill them, but they forbid them to go here, go there. They, they can't go anywhere. Not too many countries. They might go once and then they can't go again. Can't go again. Thing like that. You see what I mean? I'm very lucky to make it up to now. Every country that we want to go, I go. I consider I'm very lucky and this is God's blessing. Some master I know, some, some teacher I know, and master so-called, even the Indian master you mentioned, they, yeah? He cannot just go anywhere. We stop at the airport, report back home. Forbid to go in certain many certain countries. He can make it only once or twice, but can't make it again. So you are very lucky that you can see me in every country, everywhere. I say, okay, I just go. But uh, I can't just go the way they go. I can't just go, uh, you know, with trumpet and drum and <laughs> with you behind proclaiming my name in all corners of the universe, <laughs> you know. Sometimes very funny. When I was in... You don't know. Sometimes you encounter me on the street, but you did not see me at all. I just passed through. <laughs> it's amazing. One day, I remember one day I was in, in, in Port Portugal, yeah? And I was sitting in a taxi all alone behind in the back. And there was a sister on the street. She was distri distributing pamphlet, you know, flyer. And the taxi stopped in front of the red line. I was so scared she see me. But she did. She, she put the, the flyer through the, <laughs> through the taxi. Yeah, she gave me one. And the taxi stopped there for two agonizing minutes <laughs> because of the red light. Oh, it seems like two minutes or two years. I don't know. I can't remember. And she did give me a, a, a flyer and one for to the taxi driver. <laughs> yeah. And one time I went to the supermarket, tried to buy something for myself. In another country, I forgot where. And uh, one brother just stand right in front of the, the entrance of the supermarket and give him the flyer. I was right in front of his nose, but he didn't see. So I just... <laughs> I fly away, you know, faster than the flyer. Yeah. Uh, many times it's just close encounter of any kind. <laughs> it, it was fun, you know. <laughs> It was fun. <laughs> and sometimes I go through the airport and some of the country that I have been many times, they recognize me. But they're still thinking, mm. 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 Huh? <laughs> you know, <laughs> they're shaking their head and knitting their brow and scratching their hair, thinking, huh? Hmm. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, luckily the poster don't always look like me. Mm. So from then on I know I don't, don't need to take any attendance because if they check me alone, it's quicker. Sometimes I bring one or two, but then they, they go with me and then they're stuck somewhere else and I had to go alone anyway. See what I mean? <laughs> because of visa. Sometimes the agency don't know that this and this uh, nationality need visa or not. They say, no, no need, just go. A landing visa, everybody's time at the airport. But it's not true always. And sometimes because of uh, uh, holidays and the embassy closed, we can't get visa uh, immediately anywhere else, blah, blah. So I have to go under uh, different circumstances uh, in order to be with you or to do something that you remand, to demand. So please understand if it's not the way you want all the time, or not the country that you want, and not the time that you want, and not I don't appear the way you want. Yeah? So if I don't appear the way you want, uh, don't mind, huh? Uh, as long as I'm here, it's the same person inside, okay? Blonde or dumb blonde or brunette, whatever. <laughs> I went through Taiwan custom, nobody knew. <laughs> yeah, but I had to also hide behind another, you know, one attendant. I hide behind him. <laughs> busy, busy doing something. <laughs> 
if they I talk to them directly, they would recognize, yeah, hair or not. <laughs> but it's good. Like this is quicker. You know, I don't like staring up too much attention and too much alert. You know. Oh yeah, I talk too much, huh? Oh my God, I should go to eat. <laughs> huh? Okay, you go eat now. <laughs> no, what do you mean no? <laughs> <laughs> I see you later. Huh? I see you later. Okay. Mm. Okay. So now you understand me a little better. So in order to uh, continue serving you, we and the I and the uh, how do you say the running uh, messenger, you know. <laughs> has to do the way I think is best, okay? Yeah. Even though it might not suit you, because you don't think, you cannot imagine anything. Because it's good so. You're secure, you're happy, you're peaceful, because the Master protects you, yeah? <laughs> the shoulders protect the citizens. The citizens feel safe and secure, but the shoulder cannot be safe and secure. Understand this? I am the shoulder, I'm your shoulder. So it's a different feeling, thinking, and doing things. Yeah? Yeah. Because you love peace and, and nonviolence, you can't accuse the soldier who kills, because he has to protect you that way. He has to do different than what you do. In order to have peace for you, he has to do the things that is not peaceful sometimes, not the way you think. Yeah? I don't do that extreme stuff, but many things I do perhaps you don't understand. Anyway, everything I do is good, believe me. Nothing but goodness, okay? Nothing but good intention and love. Yeah. See you. Mm -hmm. See you later. Thanks for your love and understanding.